Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the uh, the Mikola Triple IPA Zero One Thousand and Three Thousand IBU series. Um, I've just recorded um, the Zero IBU, which um, I gave a five out of ten. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I was drinking it and I was like, I'm really not enjoying this, so uh, I poured it away. Um, about half of it and uh, I'm going to be dropping that score down to 4 out of 10 because um, I think there's a it shows there's a reason why we don't really do zero IBU triple IPAs I'm sure there are some great examples of that and I'm sure there are people who love it and I'm sure there are people who really really enjoyed this so fair play to you just because I don't like it doesn't mean anything because it's just an opinion at the end of the day and uh just like our souls, everyone's got an opinion. So, um, yeah, hers doing a weird sort of flat top military sort of thing. Um, but anyway, so I'm sat on the floor like the dirty little bitch that I am. Um, you can see the beautifully messy bed. Um, and if you see any stains, they weren't me. So, yeah, so we're going to be jumping straight into the 1000 IBU IPA. Um, clock it in at 12.1 um, just like the first one but um, yeah I'm hoping that this will be a, a much better drinking experience I mean it's going to be interesting to try these free beers anyway in the series um, and I got these from the Mickler Beer Club box so link is down below and of course please do check out the uh, Zero IBU review as well so it's still fresh in my mind so hopefully this will be much better. And I have had uh, one of Mikola's uh, 1000 IBU IPAs before. But I think that was a, a little bit of a lesser ABV. And it was in a 330 ml bottle. So I'm not going to use the big glass in this one. I'm just going to use my uh, St. Mars of the Desert glass. Fantastic uh, little brewery here in Sheffield. Can't remember the brewery that they, uh, they had when they were in America. Yeah, lovely place and lovely people. So, let's see what we get with this one. Kind of like this setup because it hides me double chin a little bit better. Anyway. So, drastically different in terms of appearance. The other one was really, really hazy. Um, I'm not sure if that's because I poured all of the beer into the glass. But, um... Yeah, even the shade of it. This is much darker. I would say it's got a really nice copper look to it. Um, it looks malty as hell. Um, nice clarity. There's a subtle... Um, well, it's not even subtle. It's just clear as a whistle. And uh, the head dissipated really, really quickly. So it's probably going to change once the, uh, the rest of the beer is in the glass, which we will do so. But um, yeah, it's... To me, that's not really looking like an IPA. I don't know how I'd describe that. Almost like a, a barley wine. It looks more like a barley wine. And I think that's what, when I think about it, it's made sense. The zero IBU with that sweetness remind me of a barley wine as well. So, um, yeah. Interesting so far. I wish I'd have actually kept the stuff in the glass and then just poured it after I'd done this video. But, oh well. And I've just spilt it all over my crotch. So, uh, there we are. That'll be a video for my OnlyFans account, which I am going to set up. I've got to set up an OnlyFans um, page. Because there are some right dirty bastards out there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drink beer, not say anything, maybe smoke cigarettes. And if people want to fap to it, people can fap to it. Live and let live. Anyway, so, beer in the glass. Let's give it a sniff. Still got that candy-like sweetness to it. There's a little bit more of a pronounced resiny sort of piney edge on this one. But it still doesn't smell like an IPA. And it smells like a barley wine. Now, I'll admit, you know, they're not exactly the freshest. Um, best before date is the 13th of... Um, 
August 2020. So I have had a couple of boxes since then. But still, you know, I've had like hazy New England IPAs, which have been like two, three months old and still just jam packed full of flavour. So I think sounds the style, but I am going to, in the back of my mind, take it into consideration that these aren't fresh. But uh, still, there's a lot to be desired. Anyway, that's just the nose. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. And yes, it's a resin bomb. Just bitterness right from the start. It's a real tingly sensation as I'm drinking this. But I can't shake the whole barley wine thing out of my head. Um, I'd say that this is... Uh, this is considerably more boozy tasting compared to the Zero IBU. But the Zero IBU had that sickly, you know, boozy flavour to it. So they're like, already there's vast differences uh, between the two beers. So in terms of like being an experimental series, which I am trying to keep into consideration. And I don't know why I've stuck an extra large sticker on my cabinet. Should be double XL now. I've put on so much weight thanks to this hobby. So yeah, you could take comfort in whoever watches my YouTube beer reviews. You are contributing to my unhealthy lifestyle. And if I didn't have an audience, I just wouldn't do this, would I? Jokes, I would. But I am trying to rarely control my drinking. Not that it's at like a point where it's like that. That's dangerous. My only rules now are. I can only drink uh, the night before a day off and during a day off and then the odd weekend. But yeah, I'm drinking this and I'm not getting the IPA vibe at all. It's like a really bitter barley wine. I just don't get it. I don't get it. This series should be so much more exciting. And I'm just I'm just not really enjoying it that much. Um and it, it's a real real bummer because and don't worry, it's not gonna put me off Mikola or anything like that, but just feels really gimmicky and almost like too easy and simple and lazy. They could have done so much with this series, do you know what I mean? Um, maybe, I don't know. I've been going on about how I want like big hop bomb palette wrecker West Coast IPAs and this would have been a perfect opportunity. But I'm just not enjoying it. Um, and it's pretty much the sort of same feeling, but on the opposite end of the spectrum um, compared to the Zero IBU. Um, so from one extra, I mean, yeah, you notice clear, clear differences. So in terms of like a, an educational experimental series, you know, it's, it's an easy thing to fall back on. Do you know what I mean? Um, but again... Yeah, there'll there'll have been people who have bought these beers separately, paid a good amount of money for them, let's be honest. And I I just can't help but feel that this isn't Mikola for me. It's got the makeup of Mikola because of that whole well here's this essentially the same beer just in three different IBU strengths and they did the whole Terrar series, which was really interesting. They've done a lot of series like this in the past. But I don't know. I just can't help but think that this is a little bit of a misfire. It really, really is. And I'm just not digging it. I'm just really not digging it. 
somehow <laughs> this is much thinner feeling than the Zero IBU. Bitterness on the back end is really nice. I like the slightly harsh bitterness. But I don't know, it's just, look at it. I just can't shake that sweetness that you get from like a mass-produced Polish lager. No. I think just like the Zero IBU, I'm going to end up pouring this away because I'm just not getting any enjoyment from the beer, to be honest. Um, it's not like badly brewed or anything like that. It's just I'm not getting triple IPA. And I suppose in like the classic sense, it is, but I'm just getting no hoppy character. Getting no really satisfying hoppy flavours. There's a very subtle citrus edge. Almost got like a little bit of a lime-like sharpness. It's just barley wine that's bitter. Whereas the other one was barley wine, really sickly sweet. So yeah, it's... <sighs> two out of two. Just not really digging it so far. And again, I don't mean to either disrespect Mikola. But also, I don't want to just be sitting here blindly defending Mikola. Because I know for a fact that they could do much better than this. And I don't care if there are a couple of months. I mean, we're in the 18th of November. I can't put it down to, like, hop fade or anything like that. I mean... If, if I'd have tried them as soon as I'd received them, um, maybe, just maybe, there's a slight, slight chance that I'd get a, a vastly different experience. And it's that's just a slight chance. I'm no expert. I'm no, you know, sommelier. I'm nothing like that. I'm just a, you know, a working class dickhead who sits in front of a camera uh, reviewing beers online. So, you know, take my opinions on beer with a pinch of salt because, you know, I'm not, I don't have a trained palate. I'm not sophisticated with my palate. But I know what I like and I know what I don't like. And I've come to that point now where I know when a beer is bad. I know when a beer has been brilliantly brewed. I know when a beer could be so much better. I can see where flaws are and I can see how a beer would be improved, not just in a subjective sense. I just don't think these beers are satisfying to drink um, for me personally and it's probably some of the the weakest Mikula stuff that I've had um, it really really has I'm, I'm not I'm not you know annoyed or anything like this it came as part of a you know beer club where the other beers more than made up you know the value uh, for what I paid but yeah I'd be if I'd have bought these separately I would be so disappointed I really really would it's just very average very average so just like the zero IBU I'm going to be pouring it away and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 um, yeah some people might have had a vastly different experience some people might have absolutely hated it that's the beauty of this and uh, is it going to put me off Mikola? No. Hell fucking no. But am I going to sit here and try and find any sort of, you know, nuanced way of defending Mikola because of how much I enjoy them? No, I'm not going to do that either. So um, I all I could do is be honest. And uh, in my honest opinion, this is another 4 out of 10 beer. And in fact, I'm probably enjoying it a little bit less than the first one. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with a four. Because it's not awful. It's not bad. It's just I don't really want to drink the rest of it. And, you know, that's 12% ABV. That's going to make me feel like shit tomorrow. That I don't need. Sometimes you just don't need it. And I think it's a shame that they've done this in 500ml cans. Um, I'm sure the idea was for... You know, people to gather around and try this 
Um, and I'm actually really glad. Usually I get, you know, really angry when I drink beers that I'm saving for bottle shares and stuff. But I'm actually really glad that I'm getting these out of the way. And, um, yeah, so it's a bit of a downer, but at the same time, they can't all be winners. They really, really can't. So, yeah, four out of ten from me. And I think with the track record of these two beers, I might actually uh, crack open the 3000 IBU and see how that is. Because I'll have essentially only drank one beer anyway, um, the, the way this is going so far. So, yeah, not hating on Mikola, but at the same time, I'm not going to blindly defend them. I think so far it's a novel concept. It's got a little bit of um, gimmickiness about it, but ultimately it's just really quite uninspired and not really truly representative of either, you know, Mikola or um, Duprof. So I'm not going to hate it too much. Anyway, so did not expect to be drinking all three in one night, but fuck it. I'm off tomorrow, so let's do it. Anyway, so if you've tried it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you've been drinking along, let me know how you've been finding this. Uh, by the time I've uploaded it, I think everyone will have drank these. Um, but as I was actually um, getting ready for this video, I was talking in our little you know, Be A Tuber Facebook group. And uh, James from Rampant Line Reviews, who has actually reviewed them as well. I've not actually watched them yet. Um, and he didn't really enjoy any of the, the beers out of the series. So hopefully... You know, the 3000 IBU, I'm not going to pour this away now because um, I want to do a little bit of a comparison, which I should have kept the zero IBU. So you could have at least seen them. Uh, but now I just thought pour away, crack on the next beer. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in just a little while. Cheers.